What is a mentor? <clears throat> The basic definition of a mentor is an experienced and trusted advisor, someone who provides guidance, motivation, support, and role modeling. If you can think of someone who was a mentor in your life, raise your hand. Okay, cool. So when I, re when I reflected upon my own life for this project, I realized that there are plenty of people that I admire, plenty of people I talk to occasionally to ask for advice and brainstorm, but as hard as I could, I could not identify one specific individual who was consistently there as a mentor. But then I expanded the definition of a mentor to not include just a person, but also include an experience, a consistent experience or an activity. And with that definition, of course, I could easily point to my own hobby turned career, which is dance. And 20 years of being in this dance is a long time. It has let me see feel, experience, and do so many things. And it has provided me with guidance, support, motivation, and role modeling. Or to put it in terms of this project, dance has been my mentor. Let me break it down. As a coach, one of the most common problems I see people face when it comes to experiencing fulfillment in their life is not knowing what to do, not knowing what to spend their time and energy on. People often end up in jobs where they don't have time for their hobbies and their passions and sometimes to the point where they no longer even know what actually makes them happy. Now, I've been lucky. I met my mentor and my passion, quite by chance. <laughs> my first exposure to dance was magnetic and addictive, but my mentor showed me how to balance that passion in a way that allowed me to enjoy and grow in my hobby, and also allowed me to focus on my education and my job. Once I completed my degree, my mentor invited me to teach, showing me that the time that I had spent dedicating to getting better could now be redirected to helping others improve. And through this, I discovered my passion for teaching, for educating, and for helping people grow. Seeing my commitment to my students, my mentor suggested teaching around the world, revealing to me my love for travel. And in the past few years, my mentor has posed the question, why not take the lessons that you've learned in dance and share them with the world outside of dance? That's the reason I joined Toastmasters. That's the reason I gave my first TED Talk and how I realized another passion of mine, public speaking. Slowly but surely, my mentor has guided me to what I love, to what I'm good at, and opened the doors for me to pursue those passions. However, <laughs> growing in this dance, building a career in it, and traveling every weekend to teach has been amazing, but it hasn't always been easy. Traveling is tiring. Dancing is exhausting. Preparing quality classes and content still stresses me out. And sometimes I have to deal with a lot of negativity and loneliness. But this is where my mentor would give me a soft nudge and remind me why. Why I'm here doing what I'm doing and why it's important. Traveling is tiring, but look at all of the places I've seen, the people I've met, the foods I've tried, the adventures I've gone on. Dancing is exhausting, but each dance is a moment for me to feel alive in my body, moving and grooving to music. Each dance gets my blood flowing, puts a smile on my face, connects me with another person, and allows me to put a smile on their face too. And the stress around creating and presenting content is always overshadowed by seeing other people grow. I'm constantly reminded by how much I gain and how much of a positive impact I can leave behind. And as for the negativity and the loneliness, well, my mentor has supported me through that too, encouraging me to push through all the negative experiences and waiting for me on the other side with an embrace, a smiling face, and a safe space to express myself and be creative. And through the years, I've also been introduced to many authentic, caring, and quality human beings. People who, when my mentor was not around, which is often, <laughs> Um, show me love, happiness, support, compassion, and most of all, show me that I am not alone. And one final point, my mentor isn't a fan of being idolized. Didn't believe in having just one person as a role model, and as such, showed me a wide variety of personalities, insisting that I observe and reflect so that I can see which actions and behaviors work and why so I can emulate those traits that foster growth and learn from the ones that don't. So I can see that there is no one human to model after, but many. And as a result, 
I have become more compassionate and empathetic, and I can appreciate all facets of a person without judgment. Ironically, <laughs> my mentor has enabled me as an individual to be a role model for others. <laughs> Now, many of you raised your hands, actually all of you raised your hands earlier because you can identify a specific person as a mentor in your life. I kind of wish I could too, not for this project specifically, but to have someone to whom I could say thank you. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for opening doors. Thank you for supporting me through my lows and thank you for supporting me through my highs. And as there is not one, but many, the best thing that I can do through my everyday life is be grateful. And on that note, I would like to extend my gratitude to all of you for this opportunity. Thank you for your role as my mentor. The silence is deafening. <laughs>